Hey there everyone, this is Danielle taking a look at Inscription, a game I know nothing whatsoever about. Uh, I was encouraged not to look anything up. Uh, Lara told me that I should just go in and play this without having any idea what's happening. I think this game is a deck builder, but beyond that I have absolutely no idea. Um, let's dive in and have a look, shall we? <laughs> Uh, yeah, like, I launched the game, it just went right, right to this screen, which was helpful because there's nothing of, of interest on this screen, so it's a good place to get uh, OBS set up and everything, so let's dive in. I don't know if my face needs to be in a different corner. I guess we'll find out. Daniel Mullins Games. Devolver Digital. Okay, time to figure out what's on this thing. Inscription. Press any button to start. Okay, we got some new game. Continue. New game seems to be grayed out, which is interesting. Options. Uh, dialogue text speed. That's probably fine. Might turn off flickering just so it's a little easier to on the eyes. Uh, graphics quality high, full screen, yeah. Sound. Uh, yeah, that sounds fine. Yeah, I can't pick a new game. I have to pick continue. Interesting. Again, yeah, I've never played this game before. It, it, this is some something it's done on purpose that to deliberately require me to load an existing save file that I guess comes with the game. Curious. Okay, we've got, like, a, a disk icon for loading, I guess. Okay, there's some spooky eyes in the back there. Another challenger. It has been ages. This bit's not voiced, I guess. Perhaps you have forgotten how this game is played. I have, I've never played it. Allow me to remind you. Play the squirrel card. Oh! Oh, this is why I would love the game. It's got a squirrel in it. I understand now. <laughs> uh, it looks like my face might be better off in the opposite corner. Uh, if I just... Drag my face over here. Because there's like a deck on this side. We'll see how that goes. Uh, squirrel. That's this one. No matter where I play it. Uh, boop. Now play your stoat. Uh, S key to go back. Stoats cost one blood. Sacrifices must be made. Oh, I have to stab the squirrel to play it? Oh no. An honorable death. Play the stoat. Oh no. Wolves require two sacrifices. You don't have enough. Ring the bell to end your turn and commence combat. This is spooky. Oh, uh, I can roll the mouse wheel to like have a better look at my hand apparently. Or I can have a look up. Yeah, I'm, this is the mouse wheel. It lets you move back and forth to all these different slot slots. Ding! Your stoat stands unopposed. The number on the bottom left is its attack power. One. Your stoat dealt me one damage, added it to the scale. You win if you tip my side all the way down. Like this. My turn. Your stoat stands in the way of my coyote. My coyote dealt two damage to your stoat. That means your stoat's health is two less. Creature's health reaches zero. It dies. 
your turn again. I may draw four from my deck, or I may draw a squirrel. Oh, I see. Uh, is this one my deck? How reckless of you. Can I play any of these? I don't think I can. Yeah, I can't play any of these creatures, so I just have to ring the bell, I think. Because you were learning, I will pass. Okay, so the squirrels are like my backup cards when I run out of stuff I can play, I think. Squirrel. Uh, let's see. I think I want a wolf. Oh. Oh, the cards are alive? It's suffering- oh no, it's suffering was real, but you will see it again, oh my goodness. Uh, okay, I played a wolf. And I can't play this amount of sacrifices, so I'll ring the bell. Three damage dealt, three weights on the scale. Pass. I turn again, I draw a squirrel. Uh, I don't think I want to blow up my wolf, because the wolf is still doing fine, so I'm just going to ring the bell. You've won this match. They won't all be so easy. Let me recall your story. Oh, yes. You were lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. Two denizens of the forest approach you tentatively. The caustic adder, damage from its poison bite, is always lethal. The undying cat, sacrificing the poor beast, does not kill it. Hmm. Only one may grace your paltry deck. Yeah, it's a deck builder. <laughs> uh, I think the cat might be better because I can continue to uh, summon things using it. Oh, it only has one health. Hmm. Whereas the adder has, like, death touch, or whatever it's called. I think it's called death touch in magic. Touch of death. Oh, I can right-click to see the, what the rules, what symbols mean. Okay. Behold the rule book. When a card bearing the sigil damages another creature, that creature perishes. Another creature joins your caravan. Some of the creatures of the forest seemed willing to follow you. Came across an abandoned sack. Found a squirrel in a bottle. Break in case of emergency. Like a potion? And have a second. Another useful implement. I'll allow you to tip the scales with it. This is as much as you can carry. Now I'm going to fight a monster because I'm going to a skull, I assume. You are ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. You sacrificed me while I was sleeping. It was the right play. I get it. Maybe you'll help me? Take your turn. Play along for now. You may now see my moves ahead of time. Oh. Are we going to play a wolf cub? Um. Go into more powerful form after one turn on the board. Okay. I can't sacrifice the boulder. Hmm. Here we go. So I can't play anything else at this point. My items may help. Oh, I can summon... Alright, I can use some squirrels. What do the pliers do? A oh, weight on the scales. The pain is temporary. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's, let's crack out both of these squirrels like this. And then I can summon... Play the adder? See how that goes. Serpent, perhaps more deadly than man. 
mind the ambitious wolf cup. It ages swiftly. I'll do a card. It reminds me a little bit of Yu-Gi-Oh, but it's also kind of different. <laughs> uh, I believe the developer of this game also made Pony Island, which I really enjoyed. Uh, it was similarly very creepy. Uh, Airborne. Oh, okay. That's the bat. Okay, the bat will attack me directly. Okay. I think the adder will bite it, though, so that's probably okay. I think I just want to ring the bell for now. Okay, uh, yeah, draw another card. Another wolf. Pretty sure my adder will boop the bat and then it'll just be out of the way. I think that's right. Oh! Oh, that kind of weight. Oh my. That's a. Uh... Uh, that's quite spooky. I see the river snapper has six, three, two, three, two. I think I want to summon the wolf by booping these two. Like that. Another squirrel. Uh, I'll leave those as they are for now. You prevailed and trekked onwards past the now bloody terrain. And I get to add a card to my deck. Uh, let's see, a wolf cub. Wolf cubs are easy to summon, they only require one sacrifice, so that might be good. A sparrow, hmm. I might go to, I'm gonna go with wolf cub, let's see how we go. Some strange stones in the mist. A worthy sacrifice, one that will be lost forever. Oh, we get, oh, I'm sacrificing one of my cards. Uh, let's try the adder, I guess. <laughs> It's a healthy host. Pick me? Okay. What does this do? <laughs> what an honor. Oh, they got upgraded. All of the adder now lives in the stone. Okay. I'm not quite sure what that does, but I guess I did it. And I, oh. Oh, I see. He's completely insane. You see that, right? No care for the rules. Pathetic, really. Enough. Only keeps me around. To watch me suffer. Okay, let's see. But yeah, these have the flying sigil now. Uh, about we got a coyote. Oh, we're gonna start with a squirrel. Let's pop a squirrel down. Uh, the bat does do damage. Back on the board. Oh right, the stoat got death touch. Okay, that makes sense. Cool. Uh, that's all I can do for now, I think. Unless I can draw a card. No, I can't. I think I might be in trouble. Uh, I don't have any cards with Mighty Leap. I can kill the bat, but then I'm going to take two damage, and that's not good. Be 
you've lost. Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. Fetch me the candlestick front of the barrel beside the door. Uh... Oh, I can move around? I can look around, I see. Now sit back down. Uh, like that? Let me explain something to you. That was one of the two mistakes you can make here. To make another, I must sacrifice you. Now, where were we? Oh, okay, I have, I have an extra life. Three cards. The elk? It moves after attacking? Okay, that, that's neat. Uh, River Snapper. Yeah, they have a lot of health, which is nice. That mushroom. <laughs> Monstrous Grizzly. Uh, it costs three sacrifices to bring out. That's that's a lot. Hmm. Can I heal at a campfire, or is that not a thing in this game? See what a campfire does. Small group of survivors. Faces shrunken from starvation, they huddled around a campfire. Looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come, warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. It'll enhance its power. Oh, it's an upgrade. Okay. Uh... Yeah, they've got more power than they used to. There's a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. Be silent or I will tear you to shreds. <laughs> this spot, you sure? Can I undo? That you're asking that? Yeah, I don't love putting you there. No, I'm not sure. Hmm. I guess I'll go with it. Yeah, I didn't love that. Uh, I need a squirrel. I can't play these yet, so I'm sacrificed to fur. Hmm. I'm just gonna have to take the damage, I think. Oh, is it just supposed to not be possible? I'm confused. Yeah, I can't play any of those. Am I just in a loop now? I can do that, but then I can't play anything there and I'm gonna lose. Right? Alas, it is time for you to perish. Well, that was scary. You aren't dead yet. This isn't purgatory. Though you may think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask you a favour. I would like a memento. Your very own death card. Quite plain at the moment, isn't it? 
we'll work together to amend that. I want this to be the perfect memento of you. Here are some cards from your mediocre deck. You put them to good use. Please choose a card to draw the cost from. Uh, these cost the same, so I guess we'll just pick this one. I'm just power and health, the numbers. Uh, the snapper? The sigils, uh, that one? A fledgling from the wolf cub? I never did ask your name. A portrait. Yeah. Here we go again. Another challenger. Perhaps it is time. Perhaps you can understand bones. A resourceful opossum costs two bones. You gain a bone when one of your creatures perishes for any reason. Interesting. Okay, so we want a squirrel uh, there. And then... Yeah, we want the stoat. In the death of your creature, you've gained a bone. You will not lose this unless it is spent or the battle ends. That's kind of out of my face, though. You can just about see it. Yeah, I think I'm not supposed to be able to win at the very beginning because they weren't giving me these bones and bone cards. Quite limited. Bullfrog. Two blocks flying. I think if I just keep stalling with squirrels like this, I'll be okay. There you go. How brutal of you. You dealt me more damage than you needed to win. However, in my game, such feats are rewarded. Be precise, a tooth to keep for extra damage dealt. A trap may be interested in your spoils. Oh. I got your figurine. Up and fetch it for me. Beside the safe. Let us continue. Priority. Costs four bones. Bradley costs six. Or courage costs. Oh, there's actually a hand after dying and it costs four. Okay. Hmm. You know, you're free to get up again. Keep your blood flowing. Rock may get you out of a hard place. Choose one. Oh, I only get one of these. Okay. Uh, like the boulder. Give me necessary. You may cut up one of my cards with these. Its bleeding yields three blood. If you can ignore the bleeding. Okay, so I can s sacrifice that for more than I'm a normal thing. I think it's scissors. Okay, I've got full three items. Okay. Okay. 
Are you smart or something? He usually doesn't even bother teaching about bones. Alright, here's a tip. I saw a past victim writing a passcode in the rule book. Uh, let's see, these are both flying enemies. So I probably want a bullfrog here. I've got one bone, so I can't near pass him yet. Yeah, the boulder doesn't block flying critters. It is okay to take a little bit of damage if I need to. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to draw... Get a squirrel, Let's squirrel over there. Possum over there. the way this is going, I concede. You may accept my surrender, or you may finish this match the slow way. If you desire it, you may stand now. It'll allow me time to plan. I stand up and have a look around. I am no tyrant. You may stand whenever the map is unrolled. It allows me time to plan your next encounter. Do you keep your hands off my possessions? Raven egg hatches into a raven, I assume. Skunk, its stench reduces the strength of the enemy? Interesting. I lose one power. Okay. Oh, that's me. That's definitely what I look like. <laughs> Uh, let's find out what this thing is. <coughs> Having a little sneeze there? Oh, it's one of these. Okay, I wasn't sure what the symbol for this was. But now I know. Uh... Yeah, let's upgrade you with the uh, Mighty Leap ability. Yeah? Alright. I'm guessing this is like a stronger enemy, it looks stronger. Oh right, it's the totem. Right. Uh, I can't summon anything else now that I've got that squirrel out. Two squirrels now. What have I got here? I need to add to one of the critters. Um They just don't do a whole lot. <laughs> I don't think the boulder is tall enough. 
Hmm. Okay, let's let's try playing this Danny card and see what happens. I have two bones, not enough for the coyote. How disappointing. I'm working on it. <laughs> yeah, don't look at me, pelt. Take a pelt, free of charge. Alright. See the quality? Uh, uh no? I'm not trying to leave, I'm trying to take your pelts. Oh, I can- I, I carry them in my deck and then I can trade them for other stuff later. Okay. Uh, I assume that's the trader? Because that's the icon I haven't seen yet? Need more items, let's go this way. There's definitely passcode scrolled in there. They were looking up the bullfrog sigil. Two seven three. I don't know if I can use that somehow. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I can only, only play this using bones, I think. That symbol. Oh, adjacent cards get more power. Okay. That's me. Oh, 
Oh, cool, thanks. All outposts in the woods tended by a mysterious woman. Oh, the traitor! What have you got? Oh, you got lots of things. Bees within? Oh, when the beehive gets hit, I get bees. Okay. River Otter doesn't protect you. Hmm. Either. A dam is created on each adjacent empty space. Oh, that's interesting. Rat King? Oh, I get more bones from a Rat King. Okay. Hmm. Assume, yeah, the Raven Egg hatches into a Raven. Take the Raven Egg. Oh, and I can get something else. Okay. Uh, try the Beaver? I feel like I probably can't afford it. But we'll see how we go. I'm guessing that's the end of area boss or whatever. <laughs> okay, I can strengthen something else. Uh, how about the opossum? Okay. Oh, it's the prospector. What have we got here? Okay, so the pack mule can move around. The coyote is just a coyote. Got a boulder on this side. Girl, beaver, opossum, coyote. All I can play right now is this. So I'm just going to plop that down. Uh, that's all I can do this turn, so ding! Sacrifices to do anything there. Hmm. He's doing the prospector again. Easy boss. The mule's key. Okay. Total misplay. Yeah, I thought so. I, I'm just not sure what I should be doing. Hmm. Hmm. From, well, these costs are all the same, so it doesn't really matter. <sighs> and these have the same power and health again.
I guess I'm supposed to be playing as a different person each time, so, like, they have to ask my name again. Tribe. Oh, I see. Do you want, uh, the, I guess, lizards? Or the wolves? Or the bugs? Try this one. I'll do. Let's see, that's uh, Fledgling, that's Extra Blood on Sacrifice, that's Death Touch. <laughs> you ever peeked in that rule book? You know the one. You look at it, if you forget, a sigil. You know, sigils on the cards. Yeah, it says 273. Is that... Oh, is it the safe code? I bet it's the safe code. Uh... Maybe you're a wolf cub. You've got a flight sigil, because of course you do. So we want the bullfrog. Uh, I probably want another squirrel so I can get my stowed out on the board. Maybe not? Maybe I want to keep the bullfrog there for now? I mean, it'll kill the wolf cub, right? to stop the alpha. It's just going to attack past whatever I place. Oh, okay, that works. Uh... Okay, um, was it 237? I think it was 237. Maybe not? I'll check the book again, and then, then I will remember next time, hopefully. 273. Right. Okay. Uh, we got birds, we got wolves, we got lizards. Let's try birds. Magpie? Any card in your... Oh, it's got search. Oh, I like that. Okay. It's 273. Give it a shot. Oh, hello. I wasn't sure if I would ever escape that iron crypt. Is is the stoat around? The stunted wolf? Madness must end. Put that away. He as well. Can you open, the, open this door? No. Don't open this. Ah, 
Oh, oh, hello. I think this is how you, um, like, spec up your stats in later plays or whatever. Okay, interesting. A knife to help with that little wolfie? Hmm. Oh, the woodcarver's back, okay. Uh, do we want bugs, or do we want... Yeah, like an elk, or like a bird? Bugs? <laughs> you again. Indeed! Our friend freed me! Well, I basically told them how to do it. You got a plan? We have another friend here. You've got to be... I wouldn't call him a friend. But I suppose we are in deep this time. Okay, that tree's gonna protect me. What do you do? Strike each opposing space to the left and right of the space across for it from it. Oh, okay. And that sigil means it moves in that direction. It'll go this way. I think I want to summon something on this side. Try to block it. Fine. Yeah, I don't think it can attack now. I think it'll just hit the there and then this guy will damage it, I think. Something like that. It would be good to upgrade that to a wall, but I feel bad about sacrificing these cards. Oh, come on. And then I have some bones. I can use some of the stink bug as well, which I'll put over here. Back in the game. You got a bullfrog, elk fawn. Okay. I just want to hang on to that for the time being. I'm not sure what this is. What does that symbol mean? Oh! Oh, we don't know! Interesting. And then we've got a magpie over here. Magpie has airborne and hoarder. Oh yeah, it's got search. Let's go with this one. going this way. Wolf cub. Wolf rock. Look into the squirrel. my own. Overkill damage. Excess damage is not wasted. Here's out of the car behind the mangle corpse of the victim. Okay, so I've got trample, basically. Lucky for you. 
Uh, there's my start. I do have enough bones to... I think I just want to hang on to these for the moment. Let that come forward. Uh, hey, it's the magpie. Keep me alive. Like that? Uh, I kept you alive. <laughs> Oh, it's this guy. I get him. What gives you pelts and stuff? Uh... I think I can afford a wolf pelt. Can I put a golden one. I can afford a golden one. Okay. Cool. Let's find out what the golden one does. Maybe. I don't know if I'll ever make it to the crater, but we'll see. Campfire. Something that's easy to bring out, like a bullfrog, really good to boost up. There we go. Huh? Oh, okay. Is it the prospector again? Yeah. What's the smoke do? Oh, I get onto your bones out if I, if I let the smoke die. Okay. Dying one hit. Harry doesn't have death touch, does it? Oh, it does two damage. I think the wolf has two health, right? Ah, damn it. All right, well, we got a squirrel. Uh, we can get the bullfrog. Let's just kill the pack mule. Eventually. Cards. Um, there's no possum. Oh, when you kill it, you get a bunch more cards. Oh, okay, okay. Now I see what's happening. Uh, let me see. Girl, porcupine, elk, alpha, five bones. Uh, let's draw a card. what this thing does, but let's find out. <laughs> uh... Okay. Fingers crossed, I guess. If 
so strange. Why can't I remember his name? I believe I lost some of my memory in the flash. Hope you didn't think it would be that easy. Oh, I see. He's got two candles. Converted my cards to gold nuggets. Okay. <laughs> That's concerning. Um, can I sacrifice them? Or I don't know how this works. has three health, two damage. Uh, if I use the stink bug, then they do run to one damage and I can get a ping on them. And I can maybe sacrifice them after that? Okay, we'll draw a card. Good play. Yeah, I thought so. Thank you. Because they only do one damage, they have two health, so we can whittle them down a little bit and then maybe I can summon something good next turn. I didn't get to say what you were saying there. <laughs> Prospector boss, again. Okay, the elk can boot that guy. And then I can't play anything else. Last one in my deck. Got a squirrel. I think if I upgrade that to something else, it'll just boop the squirrel. Boop, boop the adder and get rid of it. Yeah. I think I'm doing fine, actually. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'll go draw a card before it'll let me proceed. Um,. And yeah, I don't have any room for any more creatures, so I just have to wait. Beat the Prospector! Neat! Um... Human Sigil is like... Random each turn? Yeah, when it's drawn, the sigil is randomized. Okay. Hackrat. Does it give you items when you use it? Yeah, it gives you a random item when you play the card. That's good. The amalgam. It counts as being every variety of uh, monster, I think. Give the amalgam a try. This thing will work on it, so that might be good. Carry onwards. Hmm. Oh, the wetlands. Okay. Uh, the alpha, the bullfrog, and the ringworm. Value is not readily apparent. Interesting. It's like a squirrel that needs to be seeded to sacrifice to summon, so it's a bit... Yeah, I'm not sure what the purpose of it is yet. But I assume it does something really good that I just don't know about. Uh, and I want to see what items I have. I think I've got room for items. Let's fill my pack. Can I take it? Bottle of goo has no use. Okay, well, I won't take it then. <laughs> hmm. 
Oh, the bird of moving things sideways? Oh, I see. Draw another card, the Alpha. I don't have phones to play that yet. Not really clear on how you damage these guys given they go underwater. Hmm. Because you don't actually hit them. Uh, you, you, like, go past them. I'll take a squirrel. Uh... And convert it to one of these guys. It's not really clear what these guys do because of all the gunk on that section of the book, but... Hey, it's the amalgam. Uh, let's see, there's three and three. I think if I just put it over here, I can do three and win. One, two, three. Uh, no, not quite. Oh, that did the trick. There you go. Inky Black Mouth of a Cave. Strange beast locked within. Pass one of my trials, now will be yours. I have to choose a trial. Trial of blood. The three drawn creatures must cost at least four blood combined to pass. Trial of the kin. Trial of power. I feel like I have best luck with this. Give it a try. Yeah, that. I passed. It was. Ooh, let's see. Barrow that's worth a bunch of bones, an adder that can fly, or a river snapper worth a bunch of blood. I like the river snapper that cost two blood to summon and gave you three was not that good because you had to spend two. Oh, hello. Do I have creatures that are the same? Yeah, you can have my bullfrogs. Let's see what this does. I guess it combined the two cards into one better card, like added the stats together. That wardrobe. He almost put me in there. The top left drawer. But but the puzzle was too easy. Top left drawer of the wardrobe. Okay. I'll have a look at that in a moment. Uh, I can't summon any of this stuff yet, so let's hit the bell. Ease.
Wow, I lost that one instantly. The Mantis. Oh, it can hit sideways. Yeah, bifurcated strike. And there's the Alpha, which I already knew about, and the Otter. Hmm. Let's try the Mantis and see what we can do with it. Uh, but first, let's get up and have a look at the wardrobe. The... No, not that one. Where's the wardrobe? Or is it this thing? Is that what we're talking about? Oh, I guess I got it. I'm not really sure what I just did to solve that puzzle. Um... Two one one three one three one three. Oh, I get it. I I did five damage. Two, three, four, five, because all of these cards were moved all of these cards were moved down onto my side. Okay. Something similar here, I assume. Yeah, I can slide these up and down as well. And I want to do five damage on this side, I'm guessing. some of these cards will move, though. So. Oh, almost. Bingo. Okay. Are those the same ones I already did? I think they are. But now I've unlocked these ones. this around? No. Interesting. Two. Oh, that's not doing damage. One, two, three. That's just three? No, it's four. Why is it... I don't know what some of these symbols actually mean, is part of the problem here. Uh, can't move you. Yeah, I want, the, I want my flying person here so I can fly and hit them that way. That out of the way, like so. Can't move that one. Anywhere, lots of things that, yeah, I need to absorb that damage like that. Two, three, two, four, five. That, that's supposed to add up to five. 
Yeah, I don't, I don't know what the ant symbol means, unfortunately. Uh, I can't solve that one just yet, as far as I know. I have to go this way. Okay. I don't think I have any duplicates. Sigil time? Not sigil. What's this thing called? Totem. Uh, all the birds get uh, Mighty Leap or whatever it's called. Okay, what do these ant symbols mean? The value represented with this sigil equals the number of ants the owner has on their side of the table. Oh. Okay, so the ant queen's attack is... Okay, okay, I understand now. Okay. Can't play these yet. Oh, the workaround also costs a sacrifice to summon. I think I'm gonna die. <laughs> Yeah. Had a feeling that was going to happen. Spooky hands. I'd draw the cost from her. These all cost one. That's more like it. One blood. There we go. Power and health. Uh... It jones. But does the camera kill me? Like, that's the implication, but I don't really understand why a camera would kill me. Do I just look at my deck? Like, see what cards I'm holding? There's an alter deck thing there, but it's not unlocked yet. So I might need to wait a bit. Uh... Oh, I can pick how much blood it's going to cost. Two, one, or bones. Sorry, two, three, or bones. Uh, let's try three. Ooh. Card during the sigil, move in the direction described in the sigil. Creature is probably pushed in the same direction. Oh, okay. Interesting. I don't know if we're ever going to be able to summon that because it's very expensive, but I'm interested. Uh, these, there we go. They have flight, which isn't great. I don't really have a counter for that with my current hit. Hmm. 
There you go, Bullfrog will counter that. Um, beep. Look, there's a third talking card somewhere around here. Personally, I hate the guy. Biggest killjoy ever. But he's the only one of us with a plan to get things back to normal. Okay, uh, where is he? Hmm. How uh, much health do I have? Yeah, I can take another hit. Uh, I think I will. Also, my bullfrog actually will push it the other way a little bit. The health system in this game is interesting. Uh, let me see. Three, seven. But no flight. Yeah, the roach is unkillable. Oh, that's actually quite good. It costs four bones, but it still sounds pretty good. I was hoping you'd talk a bit more, but I guess not. Cup. <laughs> you sure? Yeah, I think so. Stop that. Greetings. Like, you're gonna boop the wolf cub at the end of the turn and it'll be gone, right? That's what we want. I don't love having to do that, but... Uh, what's this? Oh, okay. The, the mole will take damage. Okay, that's actually quite helpful. Thank you. Oop. Coyote, wolf cub, or raven. The conniving raven. Uh, airborne... Two, three. That's, that's decent. Hmm. It's expensive, though. Okay. Uh, bones. <laughs> Lucky draw. What have we got coming up? Pronghorn? Mole. I got and there are some stumps on each side. Uh, 
bad play. Why is that a bad play? Aren't you safe from the pronghorn because you're in the middle there? Hmm. Oh, right, it moves. I guess that's why it's a bad play. Um... Salutations. Hey. How you doing? Shall we? Turkey vulture, elk horn, or another bullfrog. Hmm. Oh, cool! I got a pack rat because my um inventory was full. That's handy. Prospector again? Yes. Okay, so we want to target the pack meal. We know that. We put down the smoke. We're gonna put down a squirrel. Uh... Grab a bunch of bones. Is that enough? No. Now we have enough. Okay, there we go. Let's see how we do. Oh, lol. <laughs> oh, right, yeah, then you turn my cards into gold nuggets. Forgot that part. <sighs> okay. Well, let's get drawing. Uh, cockroach, you go there. Uh, I don't really want to play you there. I avoid it. I would have, but I did too much damage and the meal's gone. <laughs> uh, whoops. Okay, if I attack the adder, that'll kill it. Yeah. I just want to end my turn, right? Boop, boop. Yeah, that was easy. <laughs> I accidentally did too much damage at the beginning there. Record time? Hackrat, the douse, the fat, filthy feral hog, incense when its chimes are struck. What? When a card brings the sigil's played, a chimes carry an empty adjacent space. Oh, okay. Uh, what about this one? Ah. Uh, U Ura Yuli, 7-7. Seven, seven. No special sigil or anything. Does look cool, though. Let's try this thing. I'm thinking once I uh, lose this run, I'm probably going to wrap up the video, because it's been like an hour and a half, but... 
you can you can see it's it's a very similar sort of game to something like Slay the Spire, uh, but the presentation is what makes it really interesting. Uh, sim similar deal to uh, Pony Island, uh, which I think I mentioned the same developer worked on Pony Island, uh, which, like, technically the game was kind of a basic sort of platformer runner sort of thing, but the framing around that and the fact, like, the actual nature of the story actually made it really, really interesting and complicated and good. Uh this way. Uh, let's say cost three and yeah, Grizzly, let's have it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Stoat. I, I don't. I don't want to. Uh, I think upgrading my cockroach would be... Oh, no, it's already got death touch. Mm, so that doesn't really need that. How about my bullfrog? Boop. Uh, what is that sigil? Oh, it's Barrower, right. I need bones to summon the cockroach, that's right. Okay, we've got a skink. What does skink do? I'm going in this place by bearing the sigil moves to the right. Oh, okay. I talk to the stoat? Or, uh, like, I, I would like to be to know where the story is going, but you don't seem to want to talk to me that much. Yep. Uh. Oh. Okay. Teeth, hang on. There we go. I'm in trouble. Bullfrog. Bullfrog has a little more power than it used damage than it used to, but See, I can... I get three... Hmm. I can't play the cockroach. I'm out of items. Right, why don't I just do that? Mm, not too bad, actually. Uh, let's grab the pearl. Okay, now I have enough bones for the cockroach, so let's put that down as well. Okay, we're doing okay. Yay! Okay. Rattle is nice to get a good hit in, and then I'll take the river otter and see how I go.
Oh, I can look at my deck. Or is that my enemy deck? No, that's my deck. Um... I wish it told me exactly what types of critters these affected, because it's not doing that. Okay. We got, we got ant, ringworm, got ant. Oh jeez, ants are powerful. Uh, card. No. Hmm. Yeah, that was gonna happen. Hello. Uh, I can only afford a rabbit. What's this? Is this a card trashing thing? <laughs> yeah, I think this is how you trash cards you don't want. Let me see, is there anything in here that I really don't need? Maybe the wolf cub? I haven't been using that. Neat. Kingfisher, Kingfisher. Spooky hands. Uh, free cost. Yeah, that sounds great. The power and health. There you go. Uh, sigils. Let's see. There we go. <laughs> okay, um, been an hour and a half and a little bit more, so I think I'll call that a video. Um, this has been Inscription. Oh, hang on. Hang on, but I gotta look at this first. Something different is happening. <laughs> Is that a hint for that puzzle or something?
Okay, um, yeah, I'm gonna call that a video for now. Boop. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, this has been an hour and a half of inscription. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a deck builder that's very similar to games like Slay the Spire in terms of actual gameplay. Um, I guess the flate, like, it's a little bit more like uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! or Magic in terms of the actual card play, which is interesting because games like Slay the Spire tend to do things a little bit differently. Uh, fun though. Um, and yeah, in terms of the presentation, much like Pony Island before it, uh, it's really, really wild <laughs> and very, very impressive and cool stuff. <laughs> and yeah, definitely like the flavor and the story of this game is what's making it so compelling uh, compared to other deck builders out there that may have similar gameplay. Um, much like Pony Island. Uh, I'm just going to look up what that game describes itself as again, because... It's been a while. Pony Island, here it is. It says, uh, Pony Island is a, a suspense puzzle game in disguise. You are in limbo, trapped in a malevolent and malfunctioning arcade machine devised by the devil himself. It is not a game about ponies. Yeah, I feel like that's similar to what's happening with Inscription here. Like, it's, uh, disguised a little bit. <laughs> uh, there's something horrible happening. And I'm not quite sure what. <laughs> and yeah, yeah. Um, it's I, I like I like this developer's games, and I'm having a lot of fun uh, with Inscription, both because I love deck builders and I love this kind of gameplay, uh, but also just the flavor. And just the, the whole feel of it is just really, really, just, just spot on, you know? <laughs> um, by the way, like, there's nothing showing on the screen. Like, um, I closed the game, like, it's just going back to my desktop, but I'm not recording that, which is why the screen's blank. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that's Inscription. I like it a lot, and I'm going to have fun with it. Um... Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope if this game looks like something you would enjoy that you go play it. Because uh, I'm having a lot of fun. And I think it's very cool. <laughs> okay. Uh, cool. Bye. <laughs>